G'day guys, it's Robert from Outback Equipment. Today we'll be installing a brand new deflector stone guard on the Boss's 19 foot fiberglass boat and dummy multi-roller trailer. Um, giving you guys at home step-by-step -step instructions. Join us along with the install today. So guys, once you've got the box open, um, going through all your bits and pieces, make sure you've got your insulation fitting guide, all your poles, brackets, and your mesh. Um, which you'll find will lay everything out for you guys at home and run you through step by step. Using our instructions, cleverly with Deflector, they've obviously used the images of, of the parts you're requiring to need. Um, step one, using your bracket, this is going to be mounted on the A-frame of the trailer. Another clever little thing Deflector have done, they've also labelled all your bar work. Um, right hand, B, so making it nice and simple for you guys at home. Alright guys, we're at the A-frame of the trailer now, using this particular bracket here. This is the one that's going to be mounted on the A-frame of the trailer. So we've got this bracket, a couple of U-bolts and nuts and washers, which we'll go ahead and install now. Cleverly too, with the install this one, they give you two different size uh, U-bolts for the front bracket here. Again, to suit multi um, different trailers and different setups. Uh, for this one, we'll be using the larger U-bolt. We'll go ahead and that one and do that one. We've got our U-bolt in there on the bracket. Um, we've got our washers down, the nut on top. Um, just using only a shifter is pretty much required for the install of this and, and perhaps a couple of screwdrivers. Um, we just want to get everything sort of finger tight for the stage. Moving on to step two, we're grabbing our next two brackets. One's left and one's right. Nice and simple mounting onto the front of our first bracket. Again, just probably using finger tight on your, your, your nuts and bolts. All right, guys, grabbing your bracket. You also um, just quickly notice there's an additional couple um, of holes drilled out. Um, again, just being universal adjustable too. We're going to line these ones up probably at this stage at the furthest point so we can gauge of where we need to, to move it in later on. So once you've done step one and two with your front brackets there on the front of the A-frame, we're moving on to your chassis um, brackets. These ones are nice and simple, one on each side couple of U-bolts and fish plates. We're going to be mounting these ones obviously onto the, the frame of the trailer, just finger tight. Okay, so we've finished that now guys. Again, just the two U-bolts, some couple of washers, spring washer and the nut underneath. We've got a exactly same bracket, which we'll be installing on the other side. Um, again, same U-bolts, same fittings. Now we, we've roughly installed uh, the chassis brackets. You're grabbing your lower pole. Um, this is the one that's uh, in the box that actually is not labelled. Two of these, both are identical. Um, this is giving us a rough guide of where it's going to be installed on both the front and rear bracket. The little slot in the top there is basically your locator of how far it needs to come up. We're just using our little round little U-bolts to fix them. So nice and simple. Okay guys, now that we've basically attached those two U-bolts with your lower bracket, um, we've lined everything up now. We've still got everything sort of finger tight at the moment until we've got our next stage of installing the rest of your poles. Um, quite cleverly too, again, as we sort of pointed out earlier in the video, with Deflector, they've labelled everything for us. The so left-hand side, A to A, B to B, it's nice and simple. Now we've finished your install of the, the top brackets, the top poles, securing these ones too, same as the bottom, we're using the same U-bolt, uh, same spring washers and, and um, nut there as well, nice and simple. Alright guys, we've fixed the top U-bolts there of the top frame of the poles. Um, just more importantly too, once we've done that now guys, is a good time to go and tighten up the rest of your um, U-bolts, your nuts, um, for the front bracket and your chassis bracket. Um, just make sure they're nice and tight. All right, so we're on the next step of installing your mesh. Um, nice and simple. The shape of these obviously take the same shape of obviously your frame, left and right. Um, knowing you've got the front end, obviously the front end of your zippers are facing forward. Um, just a note quickly too, guys, these are really good quality zippers and fittings too. So they're all powder coated, stainless steel. Um, a really nice finish. The actual material is nice and thick and sturdy, so obviously you're gonna be doing its job. Same as your bungee cords, guys. Really good quality. There they are there. So using these, we're just gonna attach it straight to the, the actual frame. With this one, you can do it by yourself. Starting just one from one corner. Looping that around. Clipping that on. So that's the finished result, guys. Finishing installing your mesh and your, your loop. Great features, obviously, the finished product we've got. Obviously, the functional having your zip gaining access to the boat, whether you're washing it down or gaining access to the base of the trailer. Um, have a little feature. All materials used on this is 3 uh, 16 stainless steel. 
Uh, so using the best of the best materials. So with your deflector stone uh, shield guys, you're giving the greatest protection to your pride and joy. Any obviously damage from rocks or stones, uh, whether that be to your paint or gel coat of the boat, um, that could cause to devaluation or having to spend thousands of dollars down the track and repairs. So big thumbs up. So also with the range of deflector stone shield guys, um, this also covers a wide range of obviously different size trailers, also jet skis, um, and they also do a range for your caravans as well. Um, you can grab these at Outback Equipment any day of the week. Head to the website. If you liked the video guys, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.